Coming up on my Big Fat Pet Makeover. This is Thor. Did he eat his hammer? Every once in a while, she'll get one chip. I think we're going to get to the truth through this one. Yeah. Spin it to win it. Yes! He doesn't want a lot of walking around. Bernie, come on. Across the country, pet owners are facing an epidemic in their own homes. A crisis affecting more than half our nation's pets. Obesity. Wow. I'm Travis Brorson. Caller Adam. Professional dog trainer and pet expert. Yay! I believe everything has to work together to make a healthy pet. I look at lifestyle. She lays down while she eats. Behavioral problems. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And general well-being. <laughs> but getting the owners on board That's a lot. isn't always easy. Are you guys messing with me on that amount of food? It's my job to educate them right here. and empower their pets. I can do this. I'm on a mission to help these big pets make big changes oh. because we owe them the happiest and healthiest lives they can have. This is my Big Fat Pet Makeover. Guys, dinner! <laughs> my name is Mark Hernandez. This is my wife, Angela Melliman. We have a modern day Brady Bunch. That's what I call it. We have four kids, Edwin, Ellie, Kyan, and Inara. And we have two pugs, Kira and Mal. We have three cats. We have her cat, Thor, and then we got Sapphire and Nico. And then we also have a bearded dragon. It's a zoo. We have a <laughs> zoo of a house with pets. Thor was the only cat before his cats came in to the house. And then that's when things changed. He started establishing his dominance. Yeah. He kind of felt like, oh, now I have something to fight for. I'm the ruler of this roost, and what are you going to do about it? And he definitely did that to the pugs as well. I think we've noticed Thor gaining weight when it was too late. It's kind of like it creeps up on you. It's a very slow progression. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, OK, we've got an issue here. Thor's round, and he spreads out when he lays down. He's very um, large. His belly swings when he walks. We noticed that Thor is the first cat to jump up on the food. When you shake the bag, Thor is there in an instant. And the food bowl fills up. Thor jumps up, starts eating, gorges himself on the food, jumps down, promptly barfs it all up, and then goes back for seconds. Yeah, that's very frustrating. With all the kids coming and going, I think the chaos crosses over to our pets quite a bit. I would think that having some sort of organization that would be around all the pets, so that, you know, feeding the dogs, feeding the cats, you know, cleaning the litter, trying to make everybody kind of work together to make a happy household for animals and yeah. pets would be great. I do want him to get healthy. You know, he is 11 and he's an older cat. And so I would love for him to stay around as long as possible. I'm gonna cry. With all the people and animals in the Hernandez home, I'm not surprised to hear that the chaos is affecting Thor's health. Hopefully I can get this family organized. Whoa. I know. Big family. Oh my gosh, this, this is isn't great. Everyone oh. either. We still have more okay. animals. There okay. And this is Thor. Did he eat his hammer? <laughs> <laughs> He's Maybe. big, isn't he? So why do you think Thor's so fat? He just got fat. He's got fat. It just happened, yeah. Like whenever we pour any of the food into the wolves, he'll like go run down there and eat it before anyone else gets the food. So he eats in the same place the other cats do? Yeah. And then he'll steal their food mm -hmm. also? Really? Yeah. OK, interesting. Who's in charge of feeding Thor? Uh, them. <laughs> them. See, they just passed it off to <laughs> us. Point us, yes. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's nice to be a kid. They definitely could take on more chores regarding the cats. Got it. And has he had a vet checkup in a while? We just took him in, and we were told that he has a hyperthyroid. Learning that Thor has hyperthyroidism is really interesting. It explains a lot about his recent behavior. Hyperthyroidism means that Thor is producing an excess amount of hormones in his thyroid, which is increasing his appetite and causing him to overeat. Over time, the excess hormones will speed up his metabolism, causing him to lose weight, but not in a healthy way. I think that's really important to know. Anytime we work with animals that have obesity issues or are overweight, I always want to see if there's anything medical that I need to address. I can totally work with the hyperthyroidism. I just need to know that it exists. It feels to me a little unorganized. Do you guys feel unorganized when mm -hmm. it comes to the pets? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
What would help me the most is if you guys could take me and show me where the cats eat their food or eat each other's food. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> cats tend to be solitary eaters. It doesn't mean they won't eat with other animals or other cats, but they would prefer to eat alone. It can cause stress having to eat with all the other pets, especially in Thor's case. OK, so talk me through what we have here. It's kind of the cat corner, I guess. This is where they use the restroom. And Thor will either eat down here on the bottom, or he'll get up on the litter box and then jump up to here to eat the food. The other cats know that when he's in here, they don't come in. They don't They're come just in. not anywhere. They, oh, really? they stay out. Yeah. He's first, and they don't come in. Wow. So then he really gets to come in and have pick of the litter amongst all three bowls and then leaves. Yeah. Obviously, you know, this bowl's full. This bowl's full. <laughs> this bowl's full. So this is all from this morning, right? Mm -hmm. And how do you decide how much to put in there? When they run out, then it gets refilled. Yeah. You say this is typically Thor's bowl. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of funny because these are like, like dog bowls. <laughs> this is kind of, okay, I want to just measure this out just to get an idea of what we feel like we start with. Okay, for the day. okay. that so sounds I'll, good. Okay, so I'm gonna have Ellie. Will you go run and grab like a measuring cup from the kitchen, please? Thank you. I'm a little nervous about this. <laughs> Don't even be nervous. We're working through yeah, this. Yeah, no, I know. Thank you so much. Awesome. That is absolutely perfect. All right, so let's, so we obviously know it's not gonna fit in there. You <laughs> rolled your eyes. She what was hoping. That she was hoping. <laughs> it wasn't I mean, we happen. could try. I'm with you. I'll tell you what, let's put it in here and see if we. I like that you humor me. Right? Travis. You like that? I do. Okay. Here. You know, oh, perfect. Teamwork. Okay. Teamwork. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've completely filled the small one, including parts in the well, bottom. Oh, yeah. Uh... Okay. Okay. So obviously, we need to. Readjust. Yeah, yes. so let's pour this in and see what our amount total is, okay? So we're looking at almost two and a half cups, okay? So for a 10 pound cat, we would be looking at. Are you serious? Yeah. I feel like we're gonna starve them. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a full day's portion for a cat that we want to weigh 10 pounds. Even though this would be one day for Thor, he goes from this one to that one to that one before he ever leaves the room. A cat Thor's size should be eating no more than one cup a day. Thor's being fed twice the amount he should be, and he's getting a free buffet with the other two cats' food on top of all that. There is zero organization around here. That's so little. <laughs> I think we need to take control back and and just to get organized. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really to understand what is going on, because I think it's. Easy to go, well, we've had cats before. This is what they did. Why can't they do it now? You know, right. Thor's different. Every child is different. <laughs> Every cat is different. See, we're getting I'm somewhere. I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, let's move on. I can tell the family is apprehensive about how much Thor should really be eating in a day. These guys need a wake-up call, and hopefully Thor's weigh-in will be the eye-opener that they need. It's time to see how much he weighs. Are we ready? 10 pounds is... Ideal. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. Thor weighs. Coming up on my Big Fat Pet Makeover. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> brownie, nice brownie cakes. <laughs> could just go with Big Brownie <laughs> right now. <laughs> Thor weighs. 15.5 pounds. Uh-oh, that's not good. It's overweight, isn't it? <laughs> For a 10-pound cat, that's 50% overweight. To compare it to a human, Thor being five and a half pounds overweight is the equivalent to someone my size being 85 pounds overweight. He has some weight to lose, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Because of the chaos, Thor has stopped becoming a priority in this house. It's time to set a clear and structured game plan for this family. Obviously, Thor didn't get this way overnight. So I want to add a little structure to the feeding time. Each cat is going to have their own bag. These are measured out correctly for the daily portion for the weight I want the cats to be. For the two cats that aren't having the problem, mm -hmm. we don't have a problem with them eating 
at the same time. Mostly it's important that Thor gets his own time to eat by himself. So the best way to do that is at each mealtime, we offer Thor his food in a room by himself. When mealtime is over, all food goes away. We can start to structure their meals at least until we can get Thor back on track. Okay. Huh? Your visit at the vet explained to you that Thor has hyperthyroidism. In order to address it, the vet has given you a few options. I'm sure you probably, after visiting with each other, have something in mind, but I'm gonna send you to a specialist so you can get some more information. There are three options for treating hyperthyroidism in cats. The specialist I'm sending Mark and Angela to will be able to explain the benefits of each one so we can get Thor's thyroid issue under control. There's been a little bit of chaos as far as the daily chores go as well. Who's supposed to do what? Remember at the beginning, I was like, well, who feeds him? And that was very clear, we all pointed <laughs> here. But I have a little something for you. This is called Thor's Chores. <laughs> this is really gonna be helpful when it comes down to who's supposed to do what. So we have feed Thor breakfast, feed Thor dinner, 15 minutes of playtime, kitty litter, and give Thor some love. I want to see Thor get healthy in every way possible by including playtime, affection, and litter box duties. Along with his new feeding routine, it's going to get the whole family involved and give Thor everything he needs to get on track. All right, are we ready to spin it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Spin it to win it. Spin it to win it. <laughs> I like it. Oh, there's only one bad one. Mom oh. gets kitty litter. Oh, I get the kitty litter. Mom I got the kitty pets. litter week one. And I got petting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Wait. <laughs> kitty Getting your kids to help out with the chores isn't always easy. But finding fun ways to include them with chore charts and competitions can make the routine feel more like a game and make them yeah. want to get involved. Thor is 50% overweight at 15.5 pounds. With a four month target weight of 11.5 pounds, that's losing over 25% of his body weight. To get there, I'm instructing the family to separate the cats when they eat and feed Thor only one cup of dry food per day. I'm also going to send them to a specialist to address Thor's hyperthyroidism. To create some organization in this chaotic household, I'm going to have the family spin the chore wheel once a week to assign them specific tasks to follow through on. You guys have everything you need to get started. You have your chores. We need to make sure mom doesn't forget she has litter, right guys? Until I come back in two weeks, I'm here for you. If you guys need anything, don't hesitate to give me a call. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I think this is a great starting point for Thor to get on the right path to getting healthy. I think these are good ideas and a plan to move forward. And I think it'll be really good for us in the long run. My name's Itcha. I'm Rohit, and our pet is Brownie, Brownie Cakes, Cakes Gandhi. Gandhi. We got married. I moved to America, and I was quite lonely. I needed a dog. When we got Brownie from one of the local rescues, she's definitely a little bit overweight, and we tried switching her food. We've got her on some weight control, but it just doesn't seem to go away. I'm sure Brownie puts on a lot of weight with the people food, too. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. I mean, look. You feed her. But she only eats like half a chip in a day. Sit, Brownie. Here you go. She loves ice cream, too. We give her vanilla ice cream sometimes. Like half a lick for Brownie's first ever birthday with us. I baked a bone shape, peanut butter cake for her, decorated it. Lots of cake cutting pictures, lots of cake eating pictures. Yeah. Browns. Brownie. She doesn't want a lot of walking around. Brownie, come on. Brownie is like, Brownie. okay, mom, I'm done with my Brownie. business. Can we walk back home? And she like literally turns back and she wants to go home. She wants little walks. <laughs> she doesn't want to do anything outside. Brownie, Aja. It's okay, Brownie. You're okay. She's all we Sorry. have, and we're very happy with her. I do. Brownie's the world to us. Yeah. I mean, she's our first kid. She's our only kid. She's yeah, she means the standard. world to us. If there's anything that we have to do for her, we are ready to do that My for fat her. girl. My fat girl. Rohit and Itcha obviously love brownie cakes very much. 
but I think they're letting her get away with some bad habits. Just the name Brownie Cakes has me a bit concerned. <laughs> is the culprit around somewhere? She's here. She is. Uh, Brownie. Brownie, watch out. Come on, Brownie. Hi, Brownie. Whoa. <laughs> Brownie Where's Cakes. Brownie? Could just go with Big Brownie <laughs> right now. Oh, gosh. Seeing Brownie Cakes for the first time, I'm surprised at how many rolls I can feel under her fur. Has she always been this big? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's always been a little overweight. It's a little overweight? Yep. Yeah. Brownie Cakes was overweight when Rohit and Itcha adopted her, but they've had her for a few years now, and if anything, she's gained weight since then. What's her feeding routine? She gets two scoops a day. Yeah. Then a couple of treats here and there. <laughs> but a not, couple not of, too many. A little bit we, of we used to He give says her. not too many, but you're kind of like, eh. Well, no, we, we used to give her a lot more. Every once in a while, she'll get, you know, one chip. First it was half a chip, now it's a whole chip. It seems like Rohit and Nitya can't get their story straight. What happens when you take her out to exercise? She gets tired and hot really quickly. And then she would just do her business and she would want to turn back and... That's normally what she does in walks. She doesn't like swimming and she doesn't play with toys. Yeah. In all my years of training, I've never met a dog that didn't enjoy being active. Rohit and Icha making excuses for brownie cakes isn't just enabling her, it's having a serious effect on her overall health. What if I was to tell you the only reason she doesn't like to do those things is because she's overweight? Coming up on my Big Fat Pet Makeover. Are you guys ready to see how much brownie cakes weighs? What? She doesn't like swimming, and she doesn't play with toys yeah. either. What if I was to tell you the only reason she doesn't like to do those things is because she's overweight? That, that could, be. could be the case. It sounds like we need to get her healthy so that she can be the dog you want her to be. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's get started. Awesome. All right, cool. Yeah. According to her measurements, Brownie Cake's ideal weight is 50 pounds. Once we find out exactly how overweight she is, I'm hoping it will convince Rohit and Icha to make some serious changes. Are you guys ready to see how much Brownie Cake's weighs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 85.5 pounds. It was, it was, uh, 80. Oh my God, it's a lot. Yikes. According to her measurements, her ideal body weight should be closer to 50 pounds. What? 50? It's a long way to go. Now that we know Brownie Cakes weighs 85.5 pounds, there is no denying that she's overweight. Ichi and Rohit claim that Brownie Cakes doesn't like to go on walks. I need to see this in action. You said the walk is one of the most difficult things, right? Mm-hmm. OK, so let's see. Come on, Come on Brownie. Let's go. She kind of has a mind of her own, doesn't she? <laughs> uh -huh. When I observe owners walking their dogs, I'm looking for a few different things. Who's dictating the walk, the owner or the dog? And are they encouraging good behaviors, or are they inadvertently rewarding bad habits? Yeah. Here. <laughs> This could be probably cumbersome over time, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's stop right here. Mm -hmm. We stopped here for a minute and she laid down. So in your mind, what do you see from She's this? She's lazy. Brownie Cakes is not lazy. Rohit and Itcha are just making excuses for her. She's overweight, they're using the wrong leash. There's no consistency or structure within the walk. It's great that you stop for her to go use the restroom. It's great for dogs to stop and sniff and smell every once in a while. But if our goal is to help her lose weight, we're going to have to stay moving more consistently. I'm going to make a really simple change. OK. This is a simple four-foot leash. OK. OK. Let's hook her right here. OK. OK, come on. Here we go. Come on, ready? Yeah. All right. We're just going to walk at a nice, brisk pace. OK. okay. And what I'm going to do, just so you know, is I'm going to hold short on the leash. OK. OK? And everything in my body is going to be moving forward. I'm confident, mm -hmm. and we're moving, and we're talking. OK. OK? okay. Now it's exercise time. All right. All right? Mm -hmm. OK, Sounds here we go. Good. Come on. Let's go. Good. Good. Oh, wow. Hey. Look at this. What? Look at you go. That's a good girl. Dogs nice. enjoy being active. When they exercise, it fuels their body nice. and their brain. Good job. <laughs> Replacing Brownie Cake's retractable leash with a four-foot lead provides control. And that control will keep her moving forward without hesitation. That's a good girl. All right, let's stop right here. 
you have the power to do it, right? You're just reading signs and putting human emotions on her that you think she's this, you think she's that, right? It's all about you guys. What are your goals, right? And our goal's here to keep her moving and get her exercised, uh -huh. all right? So, you ready? Right. Yeah. Yeah, Go awesome. Ahead. All right. So I want you to step right up next to her, okay. drop your arm all the way to your side, totally relaxed. Okay. All right? I all want right. you to look ahead. Don't worry about her. Okay. okay. And we'll just go. She's going to stay at your side. All right. Okay? You Sounds believe good. it? You feel yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Right here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. She is walking. This doesn't seem like a dog to me that wants to lay down. No, <laughs> not so much. Here, so, you yeah. get up here. You guys point. are one big happy family. <laughs> That's perfect. Because Brownie Cakes is overweight, Rohit and Itcha have to be very clear on what they're doing. Is it a potty break or is it an exercise walk? When they combine the two, it confuses Brownie Cakes. All right, let's stop right here. This is great. All right, does this feel like the dog that wants to lay down, that doesn't want to walk, that doesn't want to exercise? I don't think so. <laughs> Seems a lot more active right now. Is it right like now. magic or something? <laughs> I really want you to think about what you've done up until now as mm -hmm. a habit, right? Yeah. She's in a habit. Yeah. We all have habits, good and bad habits, right? Yeah. She has some bad habits. Right. We'll give you two to four weeks to start a new habit, and then at that point, that's what she's going to do every time because it's what you're going to do every time. Yeah. Uh -huh. We should keep we it going. Well, we should keep it going, right? Yeah. right? Let's sure. move on. Come on, Brownie. I've established one good habit with Rohit and Nietzsche. Let's see if I can create some more. You guys love Brownie Cakes to death. I mean, she's like your child, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of showing her love through chips, yeah. instead of showing her love through extra treats, right. we're going to show it through exercise. Okay. Yeah. Exercising her mind and body makes her happy. Right. If we could get her down 10 to 15 pounds, like that would be an amazing start. That's true. In order to help you do that, I have something for brownie cakes. Okay. It's a Fitbark. There's Ooh. an app. Okay. And I have access. The Fitbark is just like the activity trackers a lot of people wear. It monitors everything from calories burned to distance walked, quality of sleep, and overall health. The sensor on the Fitbark tracks how much your dog is moving and uses a unique formula to convert that into a simple point system. Using that, I want to see brownie cakes reach 6,000 points per day. This will go on her collar, and this way I can hold you accountable for the work I'm asking you to do. That's awesome. Brownie cakes is starting out at 85.5 pounds. A realistic four-month target weight for her is 68 pounds. Rohit and Itcha are feeding her one and two-third cups per day, which is the right amount, but they're spoiling her with treats and people food. That has to stop. I also want them to try and get Brownie walking consistently for 25 minutes, three times a day, to help her reach her Fitbark goal of 6,000 points. I know you guys love Brownie cakes with all your heart. I'm gonna get you guys fixed up, get you right. back on track. I know you can do it, and yep. I'll be back in four weeks to see just how on track you are. Sounds good, Sounds man. good? All right, cool. man. See you hey. soon. Good luck. Yeah, awesome. thanks. We are definitely up for a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, we're, we're prepared to do whatever it whatever takes. Whatever it so takes, yeah. I've coddled her too much. I think now it's, it's a wake-up call for me. I can't be yeah. the nice dad all the time. <laughs> Coming up on my Big Fat Pet Makeover. It's running a territory war. The cats I tried to get her in here, and then she peed all over me. We went to the specialist that Travis had recommended for Thor's hyperthyroidism. The longer we leave it untreated, the uh -huh. more damage that it can occur. Yeah. And we have decided on a treatment. It's time to spin the wheel chores. And we've been trying to keep up with Thor's chores, but with the kids' crazy schedules, it's been difficult. And Angela and I had to pick up the slack most of the time. Thor actually kind of stopped eating for several days. He has finally gotten on a better schedule, and he does wake us up every morning, so he can there's eat There's a lot of morning. meowing going on. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, meow. So it's the other two cats that have really caused us the biggest issues. I was running a territory war with the cats. I tried to get her in here, and then she peed all over me. The good news is Thor is starting to get treatment for his hyperthyroidism. However, the other cats, Sapphire and Nico, are completely rebelling against the changes that were made so far. This is an especially difficult case, so I'm bringing in backup. Hi, Angela. Hi, Travis, how are you? 
Hello. Good. I brought a friend with me. This is Lana. Lana is a friend of mine who has dedicated her life to working with cats. In her 20 years of consulting, she's helped over 1,500 cat owners. I would love an update on how Thor is doing. Who wants to give the update? Me. How about Nara? Do you think he's lost any weight? Some weight. Some weight? Some weight. Have you made a decision on treatment for the hyperthyroidism? And if so, which one? We have decided to go ahead and do the iodine treatment. Radio iodine therapy is a one-time treatment that involves a simple injection of iodine under Thor's skin. It's absorbed in the bloodstream and permanently destroys any overactive portions of the thyroid gland. Well, hopefully it will take care of his medical issue. I think that's a great long-term solution for Thor and your whole family. So, Mark and Angela, how are the other cats adapting to the changes that we made? Honestly, Thor is the one who's handled it the best. The other cats, not so much. I grew up on a ranch, so we always had cats. But Lana, she has a special connection with cats, so I thought she would be perfect for this situation. Would you consider Thor the alpha cat? Yes, I would say, I consider him more of like the grandfather. Okay. We can't seem to get one of our other cats downstairs because she gets beat up on by the other cat. Mm -hmm. And it was to the point that Mark tried to take Sapphire downstairs and she peed and peeped all over him trying to, because she gets really skittish about yeah. going down. Cats really, really like to have a place that they can be up high. They go in trees to be safe. You may think about adding a tree. You may be adding some shelves. We need to create spaces for them to go to be safe. Okay. Well, I think the next step, Lana, would be to go down and take a look at where the cats eat. Mark Great. and Angela, would you guys mind taking us down there? Sure, let's sure. go. Okay. Great. The last time I was here, I made changes to the cat's feeding routine. But I suspect the room they're eating in might be the bigger issue. Lana specializes in cat environments, so I want her to take a look. Has Thor eaten yet? No, he hasn't. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and give him some food there. Got him in the baggies. I like that. I do. We actually have them all labeled with which date, and we don't put all of the food down at once, like we were told. Okay, so let's go ahead and put Thor down. See if he'll stay. Yeah, see if he'll stay. And if he doesn't want to hang out, that's fine. Maybe it's the bowl he doesn't want to eat out of, Lana. What do you think? We talked about these bowls the last time. Yeah. This bowl here is really kind of a dog bowl for a cat to get all the way to the bottom, and they want to get all the food. They have to smash their whiskers to get down on the bottom of this one. Okay. So we really prefer that they eat in a shallow dish, no more than about an inch tall. Okay. So we like a whisker-friendly bowl. Okay. Okay. Yeah. These also kind of remind me of when you go through the airport. Yeah. Put my wallet in this. Yeah, 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 right. that's true. They're good for that. They're good for something, but not, yeah. for, not for cat bowls. No. And how about the litter box being right next to where they eat? I have a little concern because I don't eat in the bathroom. Do you? Not really. Cats are not really fond of that, but because they're so food-oriented, they'll go where the food is, but it's not the best place to put it. Okay. okay. To get all the cats in the Hernandez home healthy, we have to improve their environment. So to make the feeding room an ideal place for Thor and the gang, I'm gonna ask the family to replace the plastic bowls with shallow metal bowls and replace and move the litter box to a different location. Also, I want them to invest in a cat tree to get these cats moving and give them another place to hang out in the house. Hopefully these changes will help Thor reach his target weight of 11 and a half pounds in the next three and a half months. Since we last saw Travis, it's been going really well. Brownie is eating less, she's walking more, she plays with her toys. I think it's over, Brownie. Don't you think? And she doesn't get any more treats, no chips at all. No chips at all. No, Brownie. And now she's showing her manners, because she thinks if she sits down, she can get this. So we've been trying to hit our uh, daily Fitbot goals, which is about 6,000 points, but it's been hard. Let's go. She gets tired easily, and it's getting hot outside. Rohit's been working for longer hours, so it's uh, hard. Hey, Hi, Travis. Travis. How are Rohit you? and Icha have expressed a lot of concern about brownie cakes getting too hot when she exercises. So today, I'm going to show them a new way to exercise brownie cakes. Looking at you. Good to see you. Rohit. How are you doing? Yeah, sorry I greeted her before I did you guys. <laughs> no, no, but... it's fine. So I've been tracking your exercise progress through the Fitbark. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to take a look at that with you guys. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It looks like we started off a little slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Below the goal, half the goal, a third of the goal. What's interesting, though, 
is when you get to a weekend, yeah. it looks like you're hitting the goal. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so on the weekends, weekends I am home. Been, yeah, doing and so I take her for really long walks. We're trying to make sure that we get as many steps in as we yeah. can. There are a few days that it gets really hard. Those are the days we haven't really walked her enough. Rohit and Isha are still coddling brownie cakes and not pushing her to exercise. Today, that's going to change. Rohit and Isha are still coddling brownie cakes and not pushing her to exercise. Today, that's going to change. I brought you to an indoor facility. I want to show it to you and some really cool things that you okay. guys can do in there. This is awesome. really close to your house. Awesome. Yeah. So let's head on in. Nice. Do it. Awesome. Setting. Agility training facilities like the Zoom Room can be found in most big cities. They're great resources for owners who want to exercise their dog in a temperature controlled environment. Doing fun activities like this will improve the bond and relationship you have with your pet. So I asked you to bring uh, the food you had portioned out for today. Yes. Did you? Okay, great. Yep. Got it so right let's here. get that out. Now, this is what we use to help motivate her for the activities today. Okay. In this way, since we're using her food, we're not giving her anything extra right. since we're working on her weight control. Sure. Okay? Yes. Okay. All right, let's Thank get started. You. Let's try this hoop over here. All right, so let's see. There you go. Good. So all I'm doing is baby steps, yeah. one at a time. Right. I don't want to come up to something new like this and force her to do it. Yay! Good job, Good girl. Brownie. Good job, bro. Good girl. Nice. So now we love on her. Yay! Impressive. Good job. <laughs> good girl. Good, 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 Brownie. All right, let's raise it up a little bit. Brownie, hush. Hi, Brownie. Uh oh. Perfect. Oh, that is so good. And take your time. You're cheating. No. You're cheating. <laughs> Come, Come on, Brownie Cake. Come on, Brownie. Come you on, can Brownie. Come on, Brownie. Oh, oh, let's lead her back around. <laughs> Brownie, no point running after me. We want her to come back into this yeah. place going, that was so much fun. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> that's OK. This good, way. good girl. Good. Let's try this side. <laughs> good Whoa. girl. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Good job, oh, Brownie. That is so good, you guys. Good I love oh, it. I think that she really enjoyed this, don't you guys? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. yeah. Now you guys have a place where you can come, where the air conditioner is on, she's mm -hmm. not going to get too hot, and you can exercise her. Right. Sure. No more excuses. Yes. <laughs> Rohit and Itcha have done a great job sticking to their food plan, but they've struggled to hit their FitBark goal and continue to give excuses for why they can't walk brownie cakes. To get her to her target weight of 65 pounds by the time I come back in three months, I'm going to add in two hours of indoor exercise per week along with her 6,000 daily points. She loves you guys so much, and I know that you guys love her, but she can't lose the weight without you. Yeah. So the next time I see you, I'm hoping to see a fat-free brownie cake. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Thank you so much, Travis. All right. When I first met Thor and his family, there was a lot of chaos. Thor was very, very overweight. There were some medical issues that they needed to tend to. The feeding routine was a mess. I'm curious to see if they've put in the work that we've asked them to do. Thor's doing really well. He made it through his thyroid treatment, and his blood work looks really good. So he's going to be doing OK now. Travis is coming today, and we're pretty excited to show him where Thor's at and the changes that we did make, and to discuss how we plan to move forward. Well, hello, everybody. What's going on? Well, is this a new cat tree over here? Yes. Yeah. I saw Thor scratching it. You saw oh, Thor scratching it? Two times. In two days. In two days. Wow. Speaking of Thor, I'm ready to see him. Yeah. You guys ready for me to see him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, somebody call him out. Come on, Thor. <laughs> Wow, look at Thor. Yes, hi, buddy. <laughs> you want to go see how much you weigh? All right, let's go see how much he weighs. Thor seems happier and has more energy, but he doesn't look a whole lot different. I think he might have lost some weight, but the scale will be the moment of truth. The first time I was here, 
Thor weighed 15.5 pounds. We set a target weight for him at 11.5 pounds. You ready to see how much he weighs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anara, do you want to come tell him? Yes. Do you think your family's ready? The first time I was here, Thor weighed 15.5 pounds. We set a target weight for him at 11.5 pounds. You ready to see how much he weighs? Yeah. Okay. Nara, do you want to come tell him? Yes. Do you think your family's ready? 13.0. That is right, 13.0 which is really great. You know, I know we set the target four-month goal at 11.5, but with the hyperthyroidism, this just lets us know we're on the right track. Thor may not have met his weight loss goal, but it's the lifestyle changes the family has made that's really impressive. Over the course of the last four months, you guys have really come a long way. What are some of the biggest changes you've noticed? Since we started this whole process with the weight loss, I've seen a lot of different changes with his behavior. Also, the other cats, the interacting with them is a lot better right now. Good. Does the routine feel more structured with the other cats now? I think the feeding has gotten better because by limiting Thor's food, we're actually limiting all the cats' food. We're feeding them at specific times, so they know when their meal time is. We ended up switching out the bowls to be shallow bowls, and they have been enjoying that a little bit more. And how about the cat tree? How's that working out? This tree has been amazing to the point that I would get a second one for our house. The suggestions Lana and I made have helped organize the family and have made for happier cats and have taught these kids the responsibility about owning pets. Do you think Thor's happier now? He's, yeah, he seems a lot happier now. Way to go. <laughs> I think the kids really enjoyed working with Travis a lot. The suggestions like the chore wheel. Mark has feeding Thor breakfast. Were things that really rang true with them. Has he ever been to the very top? I have never seen him do that. Inara especially really loved Travis. I think she had a great time with him. You think maybe he does it at night when you're not watching? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So I think they will enjoy seeing him again sometime. Because you've done such a great job with Thor, I have worked with Chewy.com to put together some really cool things to help you help Thor reach his goal weight. Are you ready to keep it going? You're going to lose the rest of the weight? I think he is, don't you? Yeah. All right, before I go, let's everybody put our hands in. On the count of three, we're going to yell, Thin Thor. One, two, three. Thin, Thin Thor! Yay! Yay! Awesome job, everybody. When I first met Brownie Cakes, she wasn't being motivated at all to exercise. Rohit and Itcha were giving her way too many treats, and they were making a ton of excuses for her weight. I'm hoping today that I'm going to see an energetic and healthy Brownie Cakes. So Travis is coming today, and we are very excited to see him again and uh, hear all about and talk all about brownies. Hey, Rohit, how's it going? Hey, man. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, too. How's brownie cakes doing? She's doing well. Yeah? Yeah. She's like a totally different animal now. That's so exciting. So yeah. where's brownie cakes? Here she comes, man. Look at that! What's this, Brownie? Look What's at this? you! Hi! Oh my gosh! You look so happy! <laughs> yes, you do! Oh, she's in such good shape! Immediately, I can tell Brownie Cakes is having an easier time moving around, but I can really tell a difference as I'm petting her. No more rolls. Clearly, she's lost weight. Yeah. The indoor agility, how's that been going? That's good. She's been for about six classes, and real. she's doing great She learned with that. a lot there. She's very obedient now. <laughs> That's really awesome. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to find out how much she weighs. Yeah. Oh, I'm Same really here. excited to see it, too. <laughs> let's do it. All right, yeah. let's go. Come on, Brownie. Brownie Cakes looks amazing. When I first saw her, she was clearly overweight and had very low energy. Now her tummy's tucked, I can feel her ribs, and she's got some pep in her step. I can't wait to see how much she weighs. The first time I met Brownie Cake, she weighed a whopping 85.5 pounds. We set a four-month target weight for her at 68 pounds. I know you put a lot of hard work into this. Are you ready to see <laughs> how much she weighs? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Brownie Cakes now weighs 
65 pounds. Wow. wow. She lost 20 awesome. and a half pounds. Good job, pounds. Brownie. Awesome. We're really shocked how much weight Brownie has lost, and it's incredible because we worked hard, like super hard, and we did it. Good job, yeah. Brownie Cakes. <laughs> so we're very happy. Because you did so great, I want to see brownie cakes in action. 20 pounds lighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. Let's go. Travis did a really good job of getting us to change our habits. Let's see if we can do all three of these in a row. He didn't really mince words. He was pretty clear and he was very direct about a lot of things. Those things really sort of got us going on the right track. Come on, brownie. All three of us love getting outdoors now, and we enjoy it because Brownie wants to push herself doing more, and that's amazing because it's a big change in her. Brownie, come yeah, on. Yes, Tuttle! You, you did it! <laughs> she had so much more energy. Yeah. yeah. Because you exercised her body, you also gave her mind something to do, so you made her a very well-balanced dog. Yeah. yeah. Brownie Cakes is literally going to live at minimum, an extra two years if you keep her healthy like this. And since she's your child, that should make you very happy. Yeah, she's come a long way. She's come a long way. Speaking of coming a long way, you guys came a long way. Yeah. yeah. When I was first here, I mean, talk about spoiling a child. <laughs> I'm so happy with everything I saw today. So as a little treat, I put together some really cool things just for brownie cakes. I know she's going to love them. Thank you. Thanks, Travis. You're welcome. This was just all about helping yeah. you feel empowered to mm -hmm. get her healthy. Right. Yeah. We were overprotected parents, for sure. Now we are not. <laughs> and you saw how that finger was pointing. <laughs> <laughs>